All right, Justin, as is customary for the NBA on Christmas Day, we have the Christmas gift from the NBA of a great slate of games. And I do like a lot of these matchups that they've set up for us here on Christmas Day. So we're going to go through for you guys and kind of give our predictions for Christmas Day and what we think will happen and give each of our picks for the game we think you should watch, should focus most of your attention on. So the first game we have here, Justin, is an Eastern Conference matchup of two teams that have had some good success over the past three seasons, certainly. The Bucks with an NBA title, the Bucks with new piece Damian Lillard, even though we got the picture on the NBA.com website here of Drew Holiday. He's a Celtic now, but <laughs> still will be a great matchup between these two teams. This game is in New York, and it's on ESPN at noon Eastern time. Give me your thoughts on this game and, and who you think will win. Yeah, I want to pick the Knicks. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to pick the Bucks. Uh, Giannis in Mad Square Garden, I just think, is um, just a match for him to have a great performance. So I'm taking the Bucks. I think it'll be competitive within the first half, and then I think the Bucks will pull away. I think it'll actually be kind of a it's a sleeper game, in my opinion, but I think the Bucks will take it. Yeah, I agree. It it could be one of those where maybe if the Bucks get off to a slow start for whatever reason, if the Knicks come in with the hot hand, maybe it'll be tough for them. But I'm with you and plain and simple, I just can't pick against Giannis on Christmas Day. I, yeah. I just, if you give me Giannis and you give me a team with no marquee star to the level of Giannis, I'm sorry, this is the NBA. I got to go with that marquee star. So let's go right into next game. This is our first game that is on ABC as well as ESPN. I'm assuming probably ESPN 3 that you can stream. Yeah. This is... The Warriors versus the Denver Nuggets. So our last two NBA champions here. Warriors won the chip in 2022 most recently. Maybe starting to close the book on that dynasty, as Justin and I have talked about on the podcast. And we are in Denver, in the Mile High City, near Justin, for a matchup against Jokic and his Nuggets. Jamal Murray is back. If you've been living under a rock heap, he's been back for a little while now. So the Nuggets are running at close to full power here. Draymond Green, even though, again, on NBA.com, he's pictured in the promo photo here. He's <laughs> off in rehabilitation. He will not be playing for this Christmas Day game. So do you see Steph with the ability to pull off the Christmas Day upset, or are you going hometown with this, Justin? Going hometown with this, I, I like the Nuggets. I uh, just think this is a bad matchup for the Warriors, especially without you know Draymond being in there. I I'll take the Nuggets at home. Yeah, it's tough to argue against that. I mean, I think yeah. your your shot here is if Steph and Clay can can really get the hot hand from the three point line. I don't know. Steph just had his his three point streak snap, so maybe there's some motivation there. But again, we're going against, I would argue, the best player in the world right now, Nikola Jokic. And even though he just had a triple single earlier this week at the time of the recording of this podcast, it's mm -hmm. been a cold couple of weeks by Jokic standards. I still got to go with him uh, getting the win on Christmas Day. So right now, two for two, we're in agreement on these Christmas Day predictions. Let's go to our second of. ABC and ESPN games. So this one on um, major network television. This is the Boston Celtics playing in Los Angeles against the Los Angeles Lakers. So the Celtics coming in from the East Coast. This is at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Justin, I'll go ahead and lead off with this one. The Lakers are one and two since winning the in-season tournament. They've been on a little bit of a cold spell. And I don't know. I like this Celtics team a lot better, but I'm going to go out of a limb and just kind of count on the Lakers getting hot, the Lakers getting a little more hyped up for Christmas Day. I think the Celtics are the better team, 
but I'll pick the underdog I would presume presume in the Los Angeles Lakers. How do you see this going down? Man, it's going to be a boring show because I'm picking the Lakers as well. <laughs> um, and I think LeBron on Christmas, you know, how many, look, how many more games does LeBron have playing on Christmas Day? Um, I think he's going to show out, especially, it's, it's, you know, it's a traditional NBA rivalry. I like the Lakers. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I love the NBA scheduling these two teams together, the most successful NBA franchises. You like to see that sort of history remembered on the one of the main days of the NBA season, even though this isn't a legitimate rivalry right now, at least historically it is. So I think that's that's nice to see something good to uh, sort of tip the cap to for the NBA and hopefully a very entertaining game. Celtics certainly have the ability to win this on the Lakers home court in yeah. what is it? Crypto arena now. Mm -hmm. So we've got two more games on this Christmas day slate of games. The next one, we go back to the East coast and this one is on ESPN. This is the 76ers with Joel Embiid who I would argue is having a better season this season than last season, statistically at least, and arguably with less help. And they are in Miami taking on the Miami Heat, who are still kind of hot and cold depending on who's playing that night and, and if Jimmy Butler has the hot hand or not. So this is in Miami, notoriously criticized, Miami Heat crowd, <laughs> but hey, we're giving them a Christmas Day game. Justin, I'll let you lead off our predictions on this one. Do you see Joel Embiid coming to town and laying the smack down or Miami Heat holding their home court advantage? I just think stars on Christmas Day play well. Um, man, I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to go with the Heat. Um, I just think they got a chip on their shoulder. I'm going to go with the underdogs and pick the heat on this. I might be, probably be wrong as Sixers are going to destroy them, but <laughs> um, we'll see if, we're, if I'm contrarian to you. But um, I like Butler just be, uh, showing a surprise. seems like this is a surprise Butler game where you're just going to see him have some kind of like weird you know, costume or outfit, and he's going to score 40. So I'll take the heat. I'm going to keep it boring, man. That's that's my pick as well. <laughs> this just feels like a game that the Miami Heat always win. Like, yeah. you know that everyone is going to be talking about what I just talked about with Joel Embiid's performance. Yeah. So you just, you just get this feeling that <laughs> nobody's going to be talking about the Heat. That's going to tick off both Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, and they're just going to go crazy. I think Embiid does have... You know, he's one of the few players that has a big advantage over Bam, especially if he, he stays down inside close to the hoop. Uh, as great of a defender as Bam Adebayo is, I do think Embiid could be due for a big game as well. But man, I, I can't pick against the Heat in this situation. It just feels to me like, like what I just mentioned. Everyone talking about the Sixers and yeah. the Heat just... just lay the smack down and keep right. that home court advantage. <laughs> right. Spolster is going to have some special strategy going into this game. I, I can't discount the coach Spo advantage as well. Um, as good of a coach as Nick nurse is in his own right. All right. We got one more game to talk about, and then we got to make our picks in terms of which one we're most looking forward to watching. What's going to be the greatest competition, but this last game of the night comes at 10:30 Eastern Time on ESPN, and this is, you know, a, a kind of a low-key rivalry based on some past playoff matchups. It's the Mavericks versus the Suns. That iconic photo of Luca looking up at Devin Booker. That's, you know, maybe we get another one of those moments. These guys barking at each other sure. on Christmas Day. Sadly, Bradley Beal. Yeah. Turned his ankle. He's out for another couple of weeks, so we won't have a full-strength Suns team. The Mavericks have been surprising everyone this season, but they're playing in Phoenix for this game. Phoenix, you might also know, has a player named Kevin Durant who also likes to shine in these, these big moment primetime games. Justin, 
how do you see this this playing out? Who are you giving oh, your your thumbs up to for this? Tough, game? tough, tough, tough. Yeah, um, I think I they're think pretty evenly. Pick. Yeah, I think they're evenly matched. Um, I'm gonna go with Phoenix. Um, like you said with Kevin Durant. Um, but also it's just kind of like, and also at home too. So I don't know. I just got a feeling about the Suns, but I think it's extremely close. It could go either way. I'm going to go with Luca Legend to uh, to have a big one <laughs> on Christmas Day. So yeah, that also gives us at least one one area where we disagree on and and can have some fun texting back and forth and watching right. it. Um, yeah, I mean, wouldn't shock me if if the Suns get hot. I mean, anytime you have, of course, KD and Booker in the mix, yeah. you'd have those guys go off. Luca. Um, will need to go off, I think, to get the job done here. He's certainly capable of that as well. And man, I, I'm just really impressed overall with, with the Mavericks and their start of the season here. Um, I think Phoenix has uh, a slight coaching advantage here potentially, but also slightly less pieces that they can they can throw around. Uh, to confound their opponent. So going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. So pulling up our full slate of games here, now we got to make a decision and let the good people know, you, the viewers and listeners know, where should you direct your attention? You know, if you're doing Christmas Day brunch or, or dinner, what are you doing? Where where can you maybe run off for an hour or two or, or maybe just at least have it on in the background to direct your gaze there? while you are doing your events for the day. Justin, I, I'll force you to go first here sure. again. No. Um, what are you yeah. seeing as your must-watch game of, of the night here? Um, I would say <clears throat> factor in my decision is kind of timing. That way you can catch one game and kind of do whatever. Um, and then also entertainment value. I'm going to go Warriors Nuggets. I think that's going to be back and forth. Oh, wow. A little bit of chippiness. Um, solid star power. I think some of the other games that I was kind of got hyped for in the past haven't really delivered. And by like eight, the, the, by the nightcap, I mean you're already tired and it's kind of like you're know, <laughs> knocked out anyway. So to me, I would go with the Warriors Nuggets. I think Bucks Knicks kind of too early, um, but I think Warriors Nuggets. I think it's probably the game to check out. But certainly, you can't go wrong with any of these matchups. I think they're star power in any game you check out. So well, I'm fairly certain that um you know the league agrees with you in that it is one of those abc games and i mean to your point you're getting no matter how the game turns out you're getting to watch steph curry and nikola jokic on yeah. the same court that's always this is actually one of the games i was not uh, until i saw the date of this matchup this is one of the games i was wanting to go to Denver to watch. I, oh. I really want to see <laughs> Steph Curry live. Unfortunately, he fell on Christmas Day, and there's just, oh, just too yeah. much other stuff going on. Right. I couldn't make it up there. But I, I'm inclined to agree with you, but I'll go ahead and pick. You know, I'm going to say get your gift giving done. Get your gift opening done in the morning. Get, uh, you know, maybe some brunch action going. And then, you know, have maybe like an evening cup of coffee and tune in to Dallas versus Phoenix. Sure. I, yeah. I think my cat. Yeah. I want to see like as you know, someone following the league as you and I do. I want to see like some more building blocks added to this rivalry between Phoenix and Dallas. I want to get like a storyline here that we can carry into the playoffs. I mean, I can't argue against your game in terms of star power. It's right up there. This game has some good star power in its own right. It does. Yeah. So, um, so I think that's that's really the only one, in my opinion, that's going to compete with yours. Um, but we'll see if some of these other games, you know, surprise us. I, th I think the Lakers Boston one and the the Philadelphia Miami one, maybe even the Bucks Knicks one, have more kind of blowout potential. If if something doesn't go right for one of those teams, mm -hmm. they might not be able to keep pace with how fast this league is right now. But I think if nothing else, we accomplish picking what should be the best two games, unless the Warriors are just totally out of it with Draymond. So those are our picks. Let us know your guys' picks for Christmas Day. And we'll see what goes down. 
want to say also from us to you, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy New Year as well from the Hoopsology team here. We really appreciate your guys' support uh, through this first portion of season of the season and over the <laughs> nearly four years that we've been doing yeah. this show. So really appreciate you guys. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Peace out. Talk to you soon. Happy holidays, everybody.